Hello, my beautiful friend. <laughs> so let's talk. Let's talk about how you and I, how you and I can really be a full body yes to whatever is happening to you without without being a victim without being complacent without pretending it's not happening but fully present fully aware of everything that's happening to you maybe it's a physical discomfort you're feeling maybe there is an illness you're dealing with maybe there is grief maybe there is deep fear and anxiety about the future because you right now are in a space of so much uncertainty that thinking about anything else seems irresponsible maybe something happened today that made you feel resistance and anger and wanting to fight something not from a place of meanness but simply because you feel attacked and you feel like whatever is happening isn't at all good for you choose right now in this moment to connect to a whatever it is there is a situation you're sitting with there is a thought there is a belief that you are fighting that you are resisting that you are not allowing to show you a way through it because the only way through anything that feels challenging and hard and unpleasant and as if it was a problem the only way through it is to fully see it for what it is and you can only see it for what it is from a place that accepts it completely that doesn't mind it because that place knows that something within you chose all of it to show yourself what you're made of your essence your truth your power your ability to discern your path from the path that your ego is trying to condone you into trying to move you into is literally judging you into being something that can move at its own accord only if the ego lets you so you in this moment can see that anything you're resisting anything you're afraid of everything and anything you're judging within yourself within other people within the world anything that feels like you need to fight it or resist it hide from it see it as a problem so that you can survive it all of that is coming from a part of you that is only aware of the past a part of you that doesn't know anything but the past and a part of you that you can see right now because it isn't what you are and that part of you is resisting so deeply to be just here right now witnessing accepting a full body yes to life whatever life is because it doesn't know how to do that and stay alive the only way for you to go through whatever you're going through physically intellectually emotionally to really go through any experience that you know you know in your deepest heart is serving you you know you chose this so that you can overcome it and transcend it and embody a greater sense of what you are unlock more of your gifts more of your potential more of your light you know this is true the only way for you to trust that part of you to lead the way is to see the situation from that one and that one doesn't have any judgment it doesn't mind anything because in everything it sees an opportunity to express itself even more 
to show you even more of who you are, to show you even more of how powerful you are, to show you even more of what you're capable of when your mind is telling you you aren't, you are not ready, you cannot overcome this. You are the victim of this disease, of this condition, of this life situation, of this relationship, of this lack, of this fear, of this anxiety, of the self-sabotage that you can't seem to get out of. That part of you sees all of this, all of this story that you're telling yourself and is asking you to only notice the situation you're in from a place of no story, no past, but only the desire to reveal more of what it is that is hiding inside of it. To come to the space you're in right now with radical curiosity and determination to find the treasure. And in that, embody the one that already has found it, that knows it's there, the part of you that is shivering, that's trembling, that has that full body knowing that something beautiful, powerful, true is here. I know it is. Energetically, I can feel it and I'm ready to see it. I can only trust myself to discover it from a place of the one that knows it's there. But the part of you that's afraid, the part of you that's resisting, the parts of you that are creating all the stories as to why this is not good for you, as to why this is going to weaken you, as to why this is going to hold you back, as to why this is the only way you're going to live, as to why this is the only, the only experience available to you. Those parts of you that are talking and shouting and judging and distracting you from that desire to discover the gift in this challenge, in this discomfort, in this resistance. All of those parts are there to show you what you're not because you can see them. You can see all of these parts talking, giving you reasons and accounts and stories and projections. Their only true service to you is when you see them as what they are. elements of your experience that are framing the truth because anything that isn't those stories anything that isn't that part of you that is holding you back from trusting life from surrendering really surrendering to what life is here to show you to sacrificing every idea you have right now of who you are that you know is creating the stories that are keeping you miserable and stuck and afraid so that you can embody the story of the one who knows that in every single breath you get to take is God, is the divine, is an opportunity to love this life because you are life, to let it love you because you are it. I give you a story right now. So I am experiencing right now a lot of resistance to a physical situation I'm in. I am traveling and I've been moving from a place to place to place to place and I've been looking forward to settling down for a week in an Airbnb that I booked. And it was supposed to be happening tomorrow for a week. But something didn't feel quite right. I felt like I wouldn't have the privacy I want and I had resistance to it. And then the owner of the Airbnb let me know yesterday that I will be required to move in the middle of the week to a different space. And smack in the middle of the week is where I planned these really important Zoom calls where I will really need a space and a place to be put to not be distracted. So their resistance only enhanced. And then I went, oh my God, well, that is not what I want at all. This is even more reason to be resisting this. I need to get out of it. And that resistance offered me judgment, 
offered me fear of what's going to happen, offered me a perception of my host that wasn't very kind, offered me a way to move through as somebody who was being attacked in a way, who was held back, who wasn't able to do what she wanted to do and thus wasn't free. And that created even more thought patterns that made me feel tired and scared and anxious. And now it was about everything, everything, my travel, coming back home, the work that I get to do as a coach, feeling unsure of what direction to go in, all in my business, in my personal life, all these little doubts and little hesitations and little shadowy voices started emerging and feeding on this resistance. And now, because I have been doing this work for a long time, and I really do know the value of asking this question I asked you, I did. I asked myself how I can see this from a place of full acceptance and the desire to see a treasure that I knew was there. I wanted to embody the one that put the treasure in the situation. The one that created the story, that wrote the script. The one that chose all of this because there is something here that I truly want. My soul has asked for, whatever that is. I wouldn't know if I was looking from a place of the one being attacked and put into an uncomfortable situation and whose plans were being moved and who was, oh yes, I was right to not trust this and all of this coming from that fear and resistance and projection and the past. And so I asked myself how I can be a full body yes to everything that's happening so that I can see the gift. And the gift is always rooted in the desire to love in a way that I couldn't before. The gift is always enhancing your own capacity to see the miracle in this world. Because from that place, you get to create more miracles. You get to experience them. You get to feel your power come to life. And I knew that it was time for me to step up and into more of that. And that is why all of this was happening. Now this might seem like a small and insignificant situation. It's not a life-threatening moment for sure. But it doesn't matter because to my mind and to your mind, anything that creates this resistance to what is feels threatening as if you were going to die. It feels as if it was going to destroy what you cherish the most. It feels as if it's coming for the one thing you must protect. Because our ego can't discern. It only knows fear. And so my ego, armed with this fear of everything now, was here being witnessed by a part of me that just knew that there was no way this was happening other than this was the best thing for me. And could I spend more time paying attention to that part of me so that I can reveal the gift and express it and own it and embody it. And me recording this video is part of it. What happened is that I didn't resolve the situation. I let it be and I witnessed it. And then I chose to respond to everything that's been happening, everything that's been happening that I have been resisting this is just one of those situations. There have been more. But every single thing in the past week that I've been resisting, I have chosen today to respond to that from a place of love for all of it. Could I show myself how fully present I was knowing that all of that was happening for me because I created it, because I knew there was a capacity in there in myself, in there, in those situations, in those conversations, in those interactions, in those opportunities that may have been presented as problems or discomfort. All of that was holding 
my own ability to express more love. Simple, it's simple. And how could I see that? I could only see that by expressing the love that I feel now and expressing it despite and because a part of me is resisting it. So I'll give you an example. I went and I reviewed a couple of the Airbnbs that I stayed in and gave them a very favorable review. Although I didn't really enjoy my stay from the place of resisting what was happening. I had a lot of little judgments. Not everything was according to what I expected. All of these things. I still had a great time. I still learned a lot. It was exactly what I needed and I knew that. And yet I chose to experience those things from a place of still resisting, judging, choosing to see them as less than what I wanted. And so I wanted to literally transmute my experience the past few weeks. Whatever part of it did not feel in alignment, did not feel like it was coming out of love, felt like my little self running the show. I wanted to transmute that and harmonize it with all of the things that I did experience as my highest self. That is what I'm asking you to do. So I blasted out love to the people that I didn't feel like I needed to, that didn't really deserve it, without expecting anything other than to know that that would unlock this energy of love that I feel right now that makes all of this not only, not only okay, all of it, despite what happens, but it makes it joyful. Because the feeling that I have right now in my body, independent on what happens, is one of deep devotion to love. To love. And that is why I'm recording this. It's not to teach you anything. It's not to show you something you don't know. It's because I feel so much love and so much desire to co-create with you a different experience today that I'm asking you, choose the one thing that you've been resisting. Again, it might be a physical illness, it might be a relationship, it might be a job or a lack of a job and the fear that comes with that uncertainty. It might be judgment from someone else and you experiencing that situation as a huge, huge weight on you. Can you ask yourself to witness that from a place of accepting it as a non-negotiable gift that you have not revealed yet. And becoming interested in revealing it is where your creativity, your ability to flow and create whatever you're here to create, right? The feminine will flow through you and the masculine and you will hold the container for it to actually manifest things that are in your highest good. That will help you not only respond to the situation that you're in, but show yourself how much of a gift it is. Anything that ignites that fire of creation, that desire to love, that awareness of what you are without your fear, without your story, without any part of you, without any part of you that isn't true, anything that invites you into that space is a gift. So ask yourself if this challenge has invited you into the space of being with your heart in radical curiosity as to how this situation that you have been grappling with is a gift. Be there right now with me. <laughs> Let yourself breathe into it. You don't need anything to be there. You don't need to solve anything. You don't need to do anything. I simply witness this. A full acceptance. Full body yes. That is Tantra. Full body yes. From a place of you having created all of it 
for the highest good of the person that you are embodying right now. Not trying to fix you, not trying to control yourself, not trying to pretend that what is happening isn't. Simply seeing the truth of what gift is being revealed to you from a place of full and total trust that it is what you've been looking for. This is the key to your freedom. This is the key to your potential expanding. This is the key to you feeling more love than you have ever before. This is the key to feeling like you're finally able to create an experience that is fully true to who you are. And it could manifest again in a relationship, in a job, in a move to a different country or space. In finally feeling that determination, that inspiration, that commitment to doing that thing that you've been resisting because you've been scared, because something in you has been telling you you're not ready, you're too frail, you're too weak, you're too sick, you're too small, you're not bright enough, you don't have the education, you don't have the friends, you don't have the money, you don't have the freedom. Who are you to do this? You will lose everything if you do this. It's too much, it's too little, it's not good enough, it's unworthy of this world. That voice is being seen from that place of complete and total awareness that that voice is showing you what you are not. And the part of you that sees it is what you are. And that part, that part of you is feeling in this moment that truth of how can I love this even more from a place of knowing that there is a gift here that I have put in there for my highest good knowing the story, but choosing to forget it so that I can experience it in this body. As that divine moves through me, whatever that truth is moving through me, whatever that love force is moving through me, I know I am ready for it. And I'm excited to reveal what that is. And thank you for being here right now with me. Thank you for witnessing this moment. Thank you for letting yourself wonder what gift is being held there. Contemplate this right now. Go to that place of knowing that it is there already. And feel your body <sighs> become the one who gets to reveal it by choosing to love everything about this. Not like, love, love, love. What will make you love what you are right now in a way that you never have before? You know right now what that is. It could be a thing you do, say, create. What's dropping in? How can you show yourself how loved you are? And as you do, you embody that one. And that one will reveal the gift in the situation. That one will guide you to know how to respond to this situation that's very real in your life in a way that shows you the miracle of all of it. So that you say, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of it. I see the truth now. I see the truth now. I see the truth now. No matter how small, no matter how big, it is all, it is all, all of it is waiting for you to reveal a greater capacity for love. So use all of it. All of it is significant. All of your situations and challenges and thoughts and beliefs, they all matter. But only in helping you see the truth of what you are so that you can ground and embody and know your true place with even more devotion and conviction and certainty of the truth of what you are. And it starts with your capacity to love right now more than you ever have before. <sighs> so how does love want to move through you that feels purposeful 
to discovering the gift that you haven't been able to see yet because it wasn't time and now it is are you ready thank you thank you for letting me share this with you this much love I have never felt this much love with no reason other than me choosing to so thank you God for everything that has allowed this to happen for you to receive this for you to inspire this video a while ago the seed has been brewing and then for today to offer me a way to walk into this with you with a very real simple mundane <laughs> almost silly example of how life is moving through you to serve you to show you the truth of your power the miracle of your life and every single thing that you are about to discover becoming available to you because you are available to seeing it receiving it trusting it because you know it can only be good <sighs> thank you Let's take three deep breaths together to center and ground and allow yourself to be with the truth that you just received and start integrating it into your nervous system and let it guide you forward as you do that thing that you know will show yourself that radical love and curiosity. That is the healing you're looking for. That is the clarity you're looking for. That is the purpose that you're seeking. That is the way. So I'm counting to three and we will take three deep breaths. One, two, three. Breathe in through your nose, into your womb space, your gut. Hold this breath. You are here fully now and you're open to receiving the truth of what you are now. Release it through your nose. <sighs> Shake it out. Another deep breath. Yeah, wherever you breathe right now, it's perfect. Let your body receive this present moment and the awareness you feel of the truth of your presence inside of your body. Feel how good that feels. And release. Shake it out. And one last breath into your heart space. Open wide through your nose. Hold this breath and feel yourself committed to discovering the gift that life is presenting to you in the challenge that you're facing. Full body yes right now. A decision to see the miracle right now. Devote yourself to knowing it has already been done. And release, let it go. <sighs> Namaste, thank you. Be brave, remember who you are, and let me know how you choose to move through this challenge as you gift yourself and this world more love because of this than you ever thought possible. And how you know that that right now is the most purposeful, powerful, and peaceful way through. Back home to you. Thank you. I love you. And I will speak to you and see you and be with you the whole way. I believe in you.
Thank you. Namaste. Mwah.